Hey everyone, Soundwave A4, and in this Transformers review, I'm going to take a look at the newly released, in a retro box, Walmart exclusive, Headmaster Skull Cruncher. I uh, found this one today. Actually, I found all three of the new, uh, the Wave 2, which is Highbrow, Skull Cruncher, and Weird Wolf. And they actually gave him his name back because the Titans Returns is actually known as Skull Smasher. So they actually gave him back his original name, name of Skull Cruncher. I haven't opened it yet, so I'm hoping that they have improved on the Titans Returns version. You know, I'm not I'm someone who's not really nitpicky on my Transformers. I'm pretty easily pleased with what you know comes out. But with the Titans Returns version of Skull Cruncher, Skull Smasher, I was very disappointed in that toy. Some things were fixed by the time they were released. I think it was Croc. And they, they kind of fix some things, but I mean, I'm just, I understand a problem here or there, but when the whole figure is this, you know, it's not just the hips that are loose, the wrists are loose, this dice level is so loose, I mean, it, it is a, much a piece of crap, um, yeah, uh, it's just, it's a very loose toy, like I said, they did try to fix some of that onto Croc, so... I'm going to open up here Skull Cruncher and hope that the newer version is a lot better than this version. So let's go find out. Alright, so a closer look at the box art or the packaging, which more or less reflects a G1 style reissue with the actual Titan Turns figure inside, not G1. I did change the head on the packaging to resemble more of the toy here, as the original artwork here had different face, which pretty much more or less resembles the Titan Returns toy, which just did the splits when I touched it. It more or less resembled this look here. And this has been updated to show the current look, which is closer to the anime from uh, Transformers Headmasters from Japan and also from the Rebirth in the United States. So we get Skull Cruncher with uh, Grax, the Headmasters inside there. You can see Skull Cruncher inside as well. Turn his side. It's like the G1 style. Showing the figures, the change. Other side. The back has the classic 1987 packaging art and you have the tech specs down here and one of the funny things is i don't think i've ever mentioned in the other reviews but at walmart these are a walmart exclusive here in the united states this cost me 19 dollars and 87 cents which is funny because these are 1987 g1 headmasters so we're going to open this box up take out skull country and we're going to compare him with the times returns and take a look and see hopefully that they improve the all right, so we're going to get these instructions, which try to mimic the original G1 instructions with the look and with the way it shows the transformation and everything going. It was really cool. I kind of wish they actually did it more in an actual G1 style. You know, the actual kind of booklet folded the same way and everything. They did not, but this, at least they, you know, they attempted something for nostalgia, and they sort of hit it a little bit. You also get uh, Headmaster Grax. Let's zoom in a little bit so you can see him a little bit better. So you get this right here, and then you get the tail add-on. And then you get his uh, weapon as well. So that's the things you come with. And of course you get Skull Cruncher who comes in his alt mode. And to you know, finish him out you want to take his tail. There is a little peg right here. The hole. So you just stick that right on on. Right on in. You can take his gun and it can store underneath his tail. Let's peg it in the peg hole. And the white tip of the barrel will come out and form the tip of the tail and of course Grax can go inside where the headmasters can go and you can put him in so that way he can he can ride inside of skull cruncher now in this mode you do have a little bit of articulation the front claws move you get the you know the swivels here from the arms and you get the elbow movement the head goes side to side up and down excellent movement and the mouth does open as well so you got lots of movement and expressions with the mouth and head of the figure. And the back legs are on these little, you know, swivels here. And they do also lock in right here if you just don't feel like messing with them. 
the tail since it's on this peg can go side to side as well so you do get some movements there and it's a very nice looking mode and we'll compare it right here with the titans returns version as you can see right off the bat whereas this is more of a purple this one here is more of a red color uh so the colors are you know, radically different there the eyes here are a white color here they're red and then you got onto the back where this is just straight green you get this piece here which is actually more like a soft translucent plastic so i guess be very careful with that it's that rubbery material which is the same on the titans returns version and it's just painted right here so let's be careful of that you got some tampos right here for the kind of logo and like what the stickers and stuff would have been on there as well so everything else about the same colors the guns about the same color and everything no tampos but tampos on him are actually further up on the figure onto the uh, torso area so a little bit different I think you got, you got some gold paint right here and some silver paint, you know, showing off these little weapons here on his front claws. Decepticon logo right there as well. Underside, look at this, might have to, a little bit of a paint nick right there. And you can pair the undersides with the Titan Returns. This would be the torso of the actual robot. Again, where these little things are, there's red on this one and a purple light color to match the tail and the hand pieces of the actual figures now let's take a look at the individual headmaster grax with each we'll do a comparison with them so we'll take him out with him out we'll take a look at this grax uh, we got some red painted eyes green plastic black plastic and then we have the face on the back it's pretty much the exact same uh, robot mode as what we got here with the titan returns versions but I did notice the details are softer on the re-release, whereas here they're more uh, pronounced and sharp and detailed. It's the same here, but it's just not as sharp. It doesn't stand out all the little details and sculpts on the actual figure. It's the same head sculpt. The paint is just applied differently to make it shine out. Yeah, they didn't want to bother with a new head. But it's supposed to mimic how the actual head is on this figure and this one is done to mimic the actual head on this figure so we do get the different head sculpts this one here is more toy accurate whereas this one here is more cartoon accurate to both the rebirth and to transformers headmaster so this is the titan returns head this is the new retro release head all right so let's transform skull cruncher into robot mode so what we're going to do first i'm going to do i'm going to take this tail off take that off put it to the side come here we're going to unfold his feet all the way there are tabs here but we had it locked as you pull it apart they kind of come out so there's a little catch right here as you bring this up it'll catch on that do the same on this side feet are right here just fold them out okay man i really need to invest in fingernails <laughs> bring this one down as well so you got his feet down. Make sure these are locked in on the back of the legs. We're going to move up top. Bring the camera up. Unpeg the head. There's these two taps here that go right here in these slots. We're going to bring this back. Pull down his arms. And then finish folding the head here to the back. You see these like little gap right here is going to sort of hook on the back of this as you bring it down you can kind of feel it catch right there swing at the bicep swivels bring this down bring the claws up the hands are right here inside bring those out just swivel from him here now you got him already done he's going to add the headmaster he's a little bit loose i feel Now I'll come here and take the headmaster. What you're going to do is just fold them here at the legs and the hips. And you're just going to plug it in right up here. Get the head on. Head on. And then you're going to take the tailpiece. Pull the blaster out from the bottom. Now you can wield the blaster in either hand. You don't have to worry about adding the tail back on. But he can now wield the tail as a weapon as well. Also, just pull this piece down like this, 
and you can plug it in the other hand and now he can wield his tail as well hips are still slightly loose uh they're not this one's a little bit tighter but you, i mean they're not like wobbly wobbly you can kind of hear it but it's nothing like the titan returns version uh so he's a little bit better but not fully 100 percent tight and here he is next to the tide return so you have the new retro release here on your viewing left and on your viewing right you have the original titan returns version so i think the colors here on the retro release look a lot better i like the purple next to the green more so than this pinkish red next to the green it's like the more animated style head sculpt i like the red band of the eyes it just stands out more it just pops you can see the eyes whereas here the eyes are black and they just sort of blend into the rest of the head so pretty much everything else is exactly the same and you can take his tail if you don't want him to hold it that way of course there is also a peg here that you can close up he's back down and he can just hold it with that peg there so it might look a little bit better to you that way now do they improve overall on the quality yes they did uh i can go ahead and show you you know this one still wants to move a little bit but this one here is just ungodly bad in the uh quality of the joints i know there's ways to fix that with floor polishing uh clear liquid nail polish and stuff like that but the thing is if i'm paying 15 bucks which is i think what this figure costs this one here now costs 20 dollars for the same figures about a five buck increase and was it about, about four years now i don't i should i mean like i said one problem yeah but when the whole figure is just like this i expect it to be you know a little bit better than this when i paid the money i, I should have to pay a lot of money and then have to spend money again to fix a figure yeah just let them be so this one here is just excellently done like i said i don't have that one little paint mishap right there but otherwise the paint is applied very nice on the figure like i said i love the purple color a lot better than the pinkish red and i love that his eyes now pop and stand out and it is visible you can actually see um the face like i said i only have really this one loose hip that's on that side otherwise it's a nice figure a good update to the original g1 skull cruncher and like i said i think it's a an imp it's it's an improvement over the titan returns version in my opinion if you see this all right so let's head articulation uh you're not gonna get as much as you get in the war for cybertron trilogy you do get a head in 360 that sucker around uh, there's really no up and down. You do get a wobble because of the way the head is on the inside. Shoulders go to there. Then you bring it down and you can swivel it 360 around. Upper bicep swivel. Uh, it helps if I, I just take his tail out of his hand here. Um, elbow bends to there. You also have a swivel here at the elbow as well in the mushroom peg. And that's done because of for his alt mode. He's got his joints a lot more tight and wants to turn the whole thing. Uh, you can 360 his waist all the way around. You have upper thigh swivels. You can see hips. I'm afraid of swiveling it too much and making them loose. Hip, uh, hips go out to there. Kick forward to there. Back all the way to there. Uh, and get knee bends to there. You can keep going a little bit further. There's no ankle tilts. You just have these little toes that don't really lock in. They just kind of move around. So you can kind of toe tap them. So that's really all the articulation you're going to get on this figure. So my final thoughts on uh, the re retro release Skull Cruncher here. I like that it actually gave him back his original name. I like that the eyes are red. That they pop more. When you have this tight to turn version with the black eyes. It just sort of just blends in. You can't even notice his eyes. It sort of gives him like the dead eyes look. I love the purple against the green more so than this pinkish red against the green some of the looseness has been fixed on this copy so that is a plus if you don't have skull smasher or the takara legends version get this guy and hey you get a nice g1 style box with it as well and when i say thanks for watching this review i have all of these retro releases i've only reviewed this will be my third review i've done uh skull cruncher here now i've also done hardhead and uh chrome dome i do have brainstorm i have highbrow i have mind wipe and i have weird wolf i will complete the rest of them as well i also have more figures i have dinobot rack to knife and kingdom i have a netflix prime i got a lot of stuff a lot of reviews to come out and plus 
other uh, videos as well. So I'll be trying to make as much content as I possibly can within the next few weeks to get caught up on some stuff. Anyway, thanks for watching. Till the next ones.